Coming to the first problem, Aftab tells his daughter, seven years ago, I was seven times as old as you were then. Also, three years from now, I shall be three times as old as you will be. Isn't this interesting? Represent this situation algebraically and graphically. So, the present age of Aftab would be x years. So, I assume present age of Aftab as x years. Also, the present age of his daughter is equal to y years. According to the first condition, before 7 years, the age of Aftab would be x minus 7 and this is equal to 7 times the age of his daughter before 7 years, which is nothing but y minus 7. This implies x minus 7 is equal to 7y minus 49. So on rearranging the terms, we get x minus 7y is equal to minus 49 plus 7, which implies x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. Let this be equation number 1. By using the second condition, we can write the age of after, after 3 years is x plus 3. This is equal to 3 times the age of his daughter after 3 years, which is y plus 3, which implies x plus 3 is equal to 3y plus 9. So, x minus 3y is equal to 9 minus 3, which is nothing but x minus 3y is equal to 6. Let this be equation number 2. So, the first and second equations are the algebraic representation of the given two conditions. Now, let us solve these two equations by graphical method. So, the first equation given is x minus 7y is equal to minus 42. So, if we take the value of x as 0, we will get 0 minus 7y is equal to minus 42. That implies 7y is equal to 42, which is y is equal to 42 divided by 7. Therefore, y is equal to 6. So, if x is equal to 0, the value of y is 6 and if x is equal to 7, the equation changes as 7 minus 7y is equal to minus 42. That is, minus 7y is equal to minus 42 minus 7, which is nothing but minus 49. Therefore, we can write y is equal to minus 49 divided by minus 7, which is nothing but 7. So, when x is equal to 7, y is also equal to 7. And when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. So, let us tabulate these results in a tabular form. So, we write down x and y here. So, when x is equal to 0, we got the value of y as 6. And when x is equal to 7, we got the value of y as 7. Now, the second equation is x minus 3y is equal to 6. So, put x is equal to 0, which implies 0 minus 3y is equal to 6. So, we will be getting minus 3y is equal to 6, which implies y is equal to minus 2 and put x is equal to 6 that implies 6 minus 3y is equal to 6 which is nothing but minus 3y is equal to 0 therefore we get y is equal to 0 that is when x is equal to 0 y is minus 2 and x is equal to 6 y is 0 let us tabulate these values also in a tabular form now write x and y here so when x is equal to 0 we got the value of y as minus 2 and when x is equal to 6 we got the value of y as 0 so let us use two of the tabular forms 
in order to draw a graph. Now let us plot a graph by using these points which are 0, minus 2, 6, 0, 0, 6 and 7, 7. So 0, minus 2 is this point and 6, 0 is this point. Next the point is 0, 6. So 0, 6 is here and the other one is 7, 7. So let us join the points 0, minus 2 and 6, 0 and join the points 0, 6 and 7, 7. We will get two straight lines. So if we join the point 0, 6 and 7, 7, we get a straight line. The equation is x minus 3 by minus 6 is equal to 0. And if we join the point 0, minus 2 and 6, 0, we get another straight line and the equation is x minus 7 by plus 42 is equal to 0. Both these lines meet at a common point and the intersecting point is 42 comma 12. So this is the graphical representation linear equations.